What's going on, y'all? What it is? So let's go ahead and slide on this topic. So Tasha K, what the hell is going on? All this bragging and braggadocious sh you've been doing online for the last past two to three years, and come to find out, you only have a thousand and eighty-three dollars in your bank account. This can't be true. This cannot be true. Tell me it's not true. Say it ain't so. I mean, doggone it. If the reports are true, this is just straight up embarrassing. And what a fall from grace. Well, I'm not going to call it grace because there's nothing about Tasha K that's graceful. I mean, Tasha K had this great opportunity to create generational wealth for her family, right? And she also had this opportunity to get her mother out of that raggedy ass trailer that she lives in in Florida with a man that don't speak a lick of English. Now, after Tasha K, right? found out that it hit the circuits that she only had a measly $1,083 in her bank account, she went and pulled this stunt. Check this out and I'll be right back. All right, Wino gang, 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 and uh, Winers, I know y'all be watching me. Let me put this water down, okay? Listen, I got a withdrawal slip, all right? For my last $1,083, okay? I just checked my account. That news out there is really real. I came back, I came from Africa, off the plane and that's what I saw in the bank. But listen, I could use it, but I'm gonna give it to you. And the reason I'm gonna give it to you is because I feel that what you will need it for is way more important than what I could use it for, okay? I got four million dollars plus other debts, but guess what? I think you could do a lot more with the money than I can. So what you're gonna do, right? We're gonna run a little contest. You're going to upload a video, you're gonna tag me, and you're gonna tell me in the video what you're gonna use the money for. And on Sunday, October 9th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube, we're going to announce the winner on my platform of the $1,083 that I'm taking out of my Chase account here, okay? And so hurry up, get those videos in so we can hurry up and choose this winner and y'all can get this money before they try to take it, okay? So I got my withdrawal slip and I'll see y'all on Sunday on YouTube, okay? I'm with Tash K, let's keep it. You're a dummy, bitch. All right, so you guys just saw the shenanigans where, you know, she's doing what a narcissist does best, right? She has to prove to people that, hey, maybe that $1,083 that they're reporting that she only has in her bank account isn't true. And, you know, I will say this, Tasha K probably did move some money somewhere else to avoid from paying Cardi B. But at the end of the day, if you're going to move money, just close the account. This is embarrassing. You know, Tasha K has to learn that you have to take an L on the chin every now and then. You're not invincible, right? And this is a scenario where she should have just took that L and kept it moving. When Cardi B asked her religiously to take down the videos where she was defaming her character, she should have did just that instead of trying to stand up to Cardi B to prove everybody that, hey, nobody is going to bully me. You see, Tasha K wasn't thinking about the ramification and the negative impact that this could have on our family. Instead, Tasha K was just worried about how her subscribers and other people that follow her all over social media how they would view her if she gave in to cardi b now these are individuals that she's trying to impress that she would never even meet in life now here it is you got cardi b chasing down her money by all means right she's coming for that pangea wash money she's coming for that olive leaf oil extract money she's coming for those gold shoes those gold michael kors shoes uh with the straps on it she's coming for everything right and pretty soon you probably have to take your kids out of private school you had everything set up and you messed it up. And like I said in one of my previous videos, I don't know how in the hell her husband took her back to the motherland to marry her again after she sabotaged the family, right, with her shenanigans to this magnitude. It beats the hell out of me. But if we're going to give Tasha K some credit, let's give her credit for this. She taught up and coming bloggers what not to do. You know what I'm saying? So Tasha K, she's a ridiculous but beneficial example of what not to do. And a lot of bloggers, you know, they looked at this situation, they took heed, and basically they understand what surfaces not to touch and what surfaces that they can touch when it comes to talking about these celebrities. You see, what Cardi did was start a movement, right? These celebrities are starting to come to YouTube and they're starting to check these bloggers for the things that they're saying. If I'm not mistaken, didn't Nosy just get sued by Nicki Minaj for speaking on her and, you know, defaming her character and talking about her son? And so, you know, Cardi is the blueprint now. Cardi is the blueprint. People are starting to sue these bloggers here on YouTube for speaking just, you know, utterly disrespectful about their situation, not having all the facts, you know, claiming things, making up things just to get a check from YouTube. And it's not going to fly anymore. But anyway, I'm going to let this slide. I want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this whole situation. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Hey.